Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jeevan Tamang and in this video guys, we're going to be reacting to this video uh, and it's called The Sad Truth About Being a Boy's Love Actor. So let's get into this before the guys that like to plug in my Patreon uh, because uh, in Patreon I'm reacting to tons of exclusive BL shows so go check that out. There's over 200, nearly 200 BL shows that I'm reacting to over there. Uh, you guys can go and uh, yeah, if you want to follow me on my Patreon, link is in the description below or it might be in the pinned comment as well. Now that ideally guys, let's just get into this. Reaction. Celebrities who are subjected to all sorts of disturbing things in the BL industry. Body shaming. Celebrities face this, this relentless scrutiny every single day, and it's really disheartening that much of it centers on their appearance. They need to monitor weight and how they look at all times. Just like in other genres, looks are important and fans are known to be brutal body shamers. This is why many actors spend a lot of time on facial procedures, diet, and exercise. I've actually never really Drake Levy heard much and Lyle Hackbum have been on the receiving end of some hate because of their eyebrows, which some deem unattractive. Oh, okay, okay. Some social media users are tagging Nanan Koropat, calling him fat, and demanding the GMM TV put him on a diet. While others have a problem with Gon's teeth and his Western look. The sad part about this is that the actors see these comments and become insecure. Singto, who has always been self-conscious about his chubby cheeks, constantly touches them and comments on how they make him look fat. In another clip, he was even heard asking Win Meta Win if he had gained weight, to which Win quickly told him he looked bigger and fitter, but Singto went on to say his weight hadn't changed, it's just his face that had gotten bigger. These things really push celebrities to get cosmetic surgery or rely heavily on Photoshop to hide imperfections and pressure okay. drama editors to use beautifying software to touch up their faces in dramas. It's a harsh reality they have to deal with. Discrimination. In Thailand, advertising companies run ads with slogans like being white makes you win, and in China being oh my white God, that's is insane. a compliment. Which is why dark skin characters are rarely lead actors, and if they are, they are generally poor, while rich characters have lighter skin. The most famous darker skinned actors include Nanan Koropat, Om Pawat, Singto Prachea, Kaitawan, Kirapat, and Apo Natawin. In 2019, actor Jung Arkan caused an argument about whitewashing in his photos by posting a tweet asking about how to get lighter skin. This was after Jung said that people in the industry told him that his skin was good, but his color was bad. They said he was handsome, but that he couldn't get work because of the color of his skin. During his birthday event, Bank talked about casting biases in the Thai entertainment industry. He mentioned that while Western features are preferred, they must be subtle. In the BL genre, lighter-skinned East Asian looks are favored due to the K-Wave's influence. If only they paid attention to the acting, then we'd have much better actors in BL industry. Let that sink in, okay? No shade. Bank found it hard to get roles and sponsorships for Big Dragon because he was considered too Western-looking. His partner, Mose, also faced discrimination in Bangkok because of his Aisin background, dialect, and darker skin tone. Even with his Chinese and Japanese ancestry giving him lighter skin and more East Asian features, he still faced prejudice. In 2023, controversy arose when director Aof said Earth Pirapat, who has darker skin, fits lower class roles better, while his co-star, Mix Sapap, with lighter skin, always plays the rich characters. Aside from that, conventionally attractive, masculine gay men often take center stage, while those who are seen as less desirable or feminine presenting are sidelined or portrayed negatively. This reinforces harmful stereotypes that feminine traits are less desirable. Exactly. Fan service. Fan service in the boy love industry means that actors continue to act like romantic couples even when they're off screen. This keeps the fantasy alive for fans through fan events, interviews. Well, they are real couple, okay? Let's not include Jun Xiong Ho here. They are real couple, unlike the other ones here. Social media and public <sighs> appearances where actors often show affection. Sometimes they even kiss or make out in front of fans. This practice is driven by shipping, where fans hope for or believe in real-life romantic relationships between characters or celebrities. The BL industry promotes these ships to increase audience engagement. Actors such as Zipruk from Cutie Pie and Yoon for Unforgotten Night have even gone as far as claiming to be in actual relationships with their co-stars Nunu and Tun. The pressure on celebrities doesn't just come from fans, their own studios often encourage behaviors that capitalize on fan obsession. While fans are responsible for their delusional thoughts, production companies exploit those feelings, True. sometimes leading actors astray. Musa has it, for instance, faced backlash for his fan service, denying any romantic involvement with his former co-star Gulf Kanawat and even calling fans crazy for believing otherwise. No, I can never call the fans Although crazy. Although some couples are stepping away from over-the-top fan service, it remains a prevalent. Single in public. 
While there is no rule against actors having romantic relationships behind the scenes, they often have to appear single in public to please their fans. As a result, many celebrities either don't date or keep their relationships hidden from the public. This secrecy is necessary because fans can react strongly when they discover their idols are dating. Some fans feel betrayed and may even resort to harassment. For example, Cha Seo Won from Unintentional Love Story faced significant backlash after announcing he had a fiancé and a baby on the way. His Instagram was flooded with negative comments, with one fan saying, you have a wife was? and kids, followed by vomit emojis. Another comment read, I have supported you for two months. I didn't oh, expect you to be story. such a person. You really let the fans of Unintentional Love Story down. I will oh, never uh, watch your TV series again. Though fans eventually accepted it, the initial reaction was intense, so many celebrities avoid such situations by keeping their relationships private. While some actors, like Bright, announce their relationships only after being exposed, <laughs> others, like Neo Trey, have started announcing the news themselves to minimize the damage. Exactly. No privacy. The press and fans follow them everywhere, documenting their every move, often blowing things out of proportion or misinterpreting them. In extreme cases, meddlesome fans might go as far as stalking the celebrity, showing up uninvited to their events or even their homes. In 2022, Om Pawat had to put out statement after fans followed him to his car and camped outside the GMM TV office building making it difficult for him to move around freely. Mile and Oppo have also had numerous stalking incidents and Oppo even recalls one terrifying incident saying, We were followed once while I was driving with Mile in the car. Six cars surrounded us, trying to trap us on all sides. What? I had to use my skills to get away. It felt like I was in a fast and furious movie. There was even a moment where I had to drive up onto the sidewalk and turn off all the car lights. Thank God it was really late, so there weren't many cars around. I remember my heart racing and realizing just how famous Kim Posh has become. Chinese actors who have appeared in BL dramas Xiao have Zhang, also yeah. encountered what they call sishings, or private life fans. Wang Yiba had to change yeah, his yeah, phone yeah, number I, I after receiving it. over 194 calls from so-called fans who had purchased his number from another obsessed fan. Some fans went as far as placing trackers on his car and impersonating crew members on set just to get close to him and take pictures. Zhang Jahan's studio had to call out these stalker fans after the actor's seat on a flight was repeatedly changed, and his car was tailed by deranged individuals wanting to get near him. It's a disturbing and invasive part of their celebrity lives that they shouldn't have to endure. Rumors. Apart from being judged and harassed, celebrities are also subjected to all kinds of rumors. I think uh, this is a lot of these are like very much uh, uh, like th this rumors, this fans and everything, I guess. Except for a few facts, this applies to a normal lives. actors too, other in actors too. In 2023, Noel and Milk trended after people became convinced they were dating in real life. Another problem lies in fans presuming actors' sexuality. A fan stumbled upon a 2014 post on First's Instagram when he was in high school, where he shared 20 things about me, and one answer included the man and man kissing emoji. Other fans went ahead and congratulated him, and some even called <sighs> him out for not being open about it. First deleted the post, but fans still include him in BL actor lists and claim he is dating his co-star Kea Tong. Another damaging rumor involves Gun, who was labeled a homewrecker. A few years ago, what? he was accused online by an angry boyfriend of ruining his relationship. In all these instances, no one cares if something is true or not. People just like to gossip and don't think about the lives they are potentially damaging by creating and sharing these rumors. Meddlesome fans. Meddlesome celebrity fans often cross the line between admiration and intrusion, feeling entitled to interfere in their favorite star's personal life. A clear example is the split between Om Pawat and Nanan Koropat, which left fans devastated. This Some fans nasty. went to extremes, such as creating large posters, using trucks to display their grievances, and staging unsettling scenarios at public events. At one event, Fans held up masks of Ohm's face around Nanan, oh my creating God, this, a bizarre I saw and this. disrespectful scene. Exactly, when what GMM the fuck TV were they thinking? If I was there, I would walk out, okay? I would walk out. Fuck them. Lung, some fans <laughs> threatened <laughs> to boycott, while others attacked Lung, labeling him a homewrecker for coming between Ohm and Nanan. New Golf fans mocked Tulp Hakern's appearance, fully aware he's a cancer and Bell's palsy survivor, believing he replaced Golf in Mew's heart. Predators. In addition to everything actors have to put up with, they have to deal with people in positions of power using their authority to take advantage of them. Some actors have been subjected to the dreaded casting couch. This is also in very role. much in like Earth normal from shit two too. Two, was allegedly sexually harassed by a superior and subsequently fired for refusing to comply with the inappropriate advances.
In 2022, Ray Wafan, an assistant director who worked on my school president, was detained when the parents of a 15-year-old boy reported him for inappropriate behavior. The incident allegedly occurred during a casting session for a BL series, where he coerced the boy into performing obscene acts. Additionally, Poi and Yak, authors of the Kim Porsche novel, have been accused of inappropriate behavior towards actors on the TV adaptation. Yak was overly touchy with lit actor Mile, despite his discomfort. Barcode, underage at the time, was asked for massages by Poi and Yak, prompting intervention from a co-star. Poi also attempted to unbutton Oppo's shirt, leading to his exclusion from promotions and false harassment rumors. These incidents highlight serious boundary violations in the entertainment industry. <clears throat> but over to you. What do you think about all these issues? Let me know in the comments. Oh my god. Did I just see like uh, the actor of One Day Good Day having a boyfriend in the pic or what, was it just, you know, like clickbait? Anyway guys, that'll be it for this video. Let me know what did you think about this in the comments section. I'd love to know your thoughts. I'll meet you guys in the next reaction video.